hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you because I got another shipment of, I almost said a shipment of boxes, but a shipment of plants. This one is from Steve's Leaves. I've heard great things about the company. They're based in Texas. They have some pretty rare plants and a whole variety of different ones. I believe they have like some succulents, some leafy greens. They have a ton of begonias. So if you like begonias, you should probably check them out. They have peperomias, you name it. They might have it. I don't think they have any fruit trees, but in any case, let's open it up. The box itself came in fine condition. There's nothing really wrong with it and it arrived in about three days. This is more difficult than I was anticipating. But yeah, so it's arrived well. I just was very eager to get it because one of the items, which I will not spoil, um, I've been trying to hunt down. Ugh, it's like a horrible Christmas. Did your parents ever do that or your friends ever do that where it's like the box is like, wrapped up completely in like duct tape or something and you try and open it and it's like torturous. Yeah, he's waving that he has, but in any case, so we got some instructions. It says what to do when your uh, order arrives. It suggests that you unpack your plants immediately, which I did try to, but I had to go to my parents and then I had to walk my dogs and now we're here. Um, Carefully remove packaging, blah, blah, blah. Place plants in a bright area, blah, blah, blah. So basically, repot, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it means you take care of your plant. That seems like a given. I guess people probably were like, my plant is dead because I left it in my box for a month or something, I don't know. But in any case, here's my order summary. They all have check marks next to it, so hopefully that means it arrived. And this is what it looks like inside. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful, shall we? We shall. <gasps> More paper! What is this one? This is, oh, it's, it feels kind of moist, so I will pick it up because I believe a plant is inside of there. Which one is it? I wonder if it's gonna be raw roots or if it's in plastic or if it's in a container. We shall find out. Man, I need like two more hands. That would be superb. It's the begonia! Okay, so this sucker I almost didn't get. I believe this is the one. Is it? Let me think for, oh my God, it's so hairy! Can you see that? Look at that. Can you, do you even? My God, you are Eastern European, aren't you my fellow? He's all like, hell yeah. Very fun. Um, but the reason why I got this begonia, because I'm not like particularly like fascinated by them per se, but this had a crazy backstory where basically it's an uncharted territory plant where this person in like the 1900s brought it back from Asia and it's not a specific cultivar, it's this random one that I think it was like you, yeah, you. 309 it's just kind of like you know how they like name the stars it was like that but a plant and I was just like oh, okay fine but the real kicker is that when these plants grow or mature the leaves get huge and I'm talking about like bigger than my face bigger than my hand probably like the size of my face and my hand like this is like that big it's it's massive so I'm very excited about that and I will show you updates Oh my god, like the leaves are literally, the undersides of the leaves, if you feel them, it literally is hairy. It's pretty unreal texture-wise. So very exciting! I will make sure to keep you guys updated about that. Next in the box, those are not plants, don't worry, that's filler. So it looks like their main packaging is just kind of like crunkled up papers, which is good if you have like a fireplace and you're looking for some kindling or something or if you like you know get bored and you want some reading material Ooh, I see some stuff I don't know if you can see it all but <gasps> yes <sighs> okay guys oh I am so pumped about this one right here this my dears this is the vanilla plant this is technically in the orchid family 
Oof. And it's the variegated vanilla plant. And this one is, oh man, I'm so excited. This produces the vanilla beans for a lack. I just gotta stop the rambling and get to the cheese pudding. That actually sounds horrible, but this one produces um, vanilla beans, but you have to fertilize it yourself. It flowers, I think, don't quote me, but I think once a year, and it doesn't produce the vanilla bean on its own. You have to literally take like a little toothpick and kind of get like a bit of the flower and then kind of like unsection it and then kind of push it into the other bit of the flower and then leave it there and it dries out and shrivels up and it creates what we know as the oh so amazing vanilla bean which is oh my god I'm so excited so hopefully 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 we get some buds on this one maybe not this year maybe next year any year I don't care but this is the variegated version it is gorgeous I'm so excited about this. And this is a cascading plant. Mm hmm Very excited. I will keep you posted on that one too. That's a pretty good size also. That had a lot of shoots in it, honestly. Because I went to the nursery. I first saw it, and I almost got it at a local nursery near me. It was just a standard green, going for the next plant, by the way. Standard green um, vanilla orchid, or is that what on earth do they actually call it? They call it vanilla plantifolia variegated. Ain't that nice. Um, but in any case, I saw it first at the nursery and it's standard green, but it was just like literally one, maybe two shoots coming out of the soil. It looked real wimpy and I was just kind of like totally unimpressed. And okay, I'm sorry, in the meantime of me talking, I opened up the other plant and I just realized this is way bigger than I was imagining when I had first ordered this plant. I was expecting the leaves to be so tiny, like the size of like my pinky or maybe my thumb. This is not, this is not finger size. This is like, well, I don't know what size off the top of my head, but it's larger. It's like the size of a tape measure. There we go. Um, but I, wow. The reason why I got this one, and this is a begonia, by the way. I don't know. Oh no, sorry. Apilia. Apilia mollis. It's also known as the moon valley. Um, and I got it because I thought it looked so extraterrestrial. I mean, come on, it kind of does. It's, it's got that neon green thing going on, that kind of wrinkly dinkly thing going on. I mean, like, if you look at the texture up close, my God, it's pretty fantastic. And it's, I thought it was just so fun how it was like that deep black with the contrasting bright fluorescent green. I do like it. I am just surprised. I am surprised by the size of it, but that's what happens, I guess, when you get things online. You don't really actually get to see a perspective of what the leaves actually would look like, but this is fantastic, and all the plants so far are so healthy. So that's really, really, really awesome. So, and now we're on to the last plant, and I think I know what this one is, but I won't spoil it for you guys. <laughs> here I wonder what is actually on these papers here we go yet oh well I guess I just fertilized myself with some of these little pebbles but this is a begonia also and I just thought this was so gorgeous because as it kind of matures and it gets through its leaf cycle when it becomes more mature the bottom sides become this deep bright beautiful lipstick red kind of like a poinsettia actually and the tops are this like gorgeous deep emeraldy green forest color with these silvery dots on it and i just thought the contrast was so so fun but also i had like immediately saw it and i was like okay this is obviously like a louis vuitton plant you know because it's like the red bottom shoes except it's the red bottom plant like how can you say no to that really I mean, at least I couldn't. So, but the specific variety name of this one is Begonia Cracklin Rosie. So, I mean, <laughs> I actually, my favorite specimen types usually are like ficus, peperomia, something like that. But I think the only thing that I expected myself to get from this order was the vanilla plant because I've been having my little eyes on that for so long. But the rest of them, I didn't. I never really saw myself as a begonia girl, but these are fantastic. The leaf coloring on this one and whoop, on this one is just, it's so nice. The foliage is just super unique and I'm so excited to see how this one matures, even though I'm still just totally blown away by the amount of hair on this thing. It's just like unreal, I'm telling you. 
but um, super excited to see how those turn out. So I hope that you guys liked this unboxing of all these fun little plants. Let's see if I can hold them all in one. Mission accomplished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out Steve's leaves because honestly, this was a fantastic haul. This, some of these plants, if not all of them, are either at the same level of going to the nursery yourself or better, honestly. They're, 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 they look super healthy. They look super healthy, they look super happy, and I am so glad to add them to my collection. So yay, have an awesome, I'm gonna try and end the video. There you go, have an awesome day, thank you. Alrighty, you guys, I was hoping to show a little close-up video of each of the little plants that I got, um, especially the Moon Valley back there. You could see how the texture was present, and then on this one, I was not kidding. This guy is hairy. It is part teddy bear, I swear, and all the leaves are so healthy. There's no discoloration on them. The roots are super healthy, and even the way that it was packaged was so clearly done with care. They topped every single soil off with some of this um, newspaper just to kind of prevent it from I guess spilling over um, but it was all around a super great plant haul and I hope you guys enjoyed.